All right, so we are pulling into Del Webb in Nexon right now. Beautiful entrance to this place. There's the sign. So this uh, guard gate here, some of the neighborhoods uh, in the 55 pluses, actually only two of them, I think, are manned 24 hours a day. Right. This one is, I think, 7 a.m. to 8, 8 p.m. ish, something, like, something that. like that. Yeah. But if you live here, you have a little zebra looking car pass sticker on your ride. It's like a little fob. Yeah. That? Well, no, it's a sticker on your window. Oh, it's on yeah, your window. Yeah. And you okay. pull over here to the right, like this person's doing. Yep. And it'll just automatically open up. Okay. Watch, it won't work this one time. Secure. They like, no. They like it. Yeah. We're, we're, they don't just let everybody. <laughs> I, I've got a fairly clear vehicle. Uh, but look at the trees and the shrubs and everything in this neighborhood. So I will go down. I'll go down Bloomington. Yeah. I'll show you where my parents live. Is that allowed? Are they yeah. going to be okay with that? I think they'll be all right. All right. Yeah. But even these berms here out the side. Yeah. Those are. They're nice. Look how they're, high some of these yeah. are. Yeah. You can't see anything over there. There's like a little pond over there and everything. So the pond behind my parents' house, um, it's on. It's not on 24 hours a day. It shuts down at like nine o'clock at night. Okay. Uh, but here, here's here's Mama Greg's house on the this right is, here. This is Mama Greg's right there. Right? That's where I go for Christmas and Thanksgiving right. and everything. Sports. Right, just waving at yeah. me going by. Yeah. There's there's my Jeffrey. <laughs> is that how she sounds? No. Uh, she she's gonna yell at you when she's she watches yell. this. Does it's she like, watch it? Oh yeah, she watches it. Oh no. Yeah. I had to teach her how to watch it. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> so, all right, this is a, a, a little joke I played on Mom and Dad. Stop. Okay. I will stop. Okay. And we have our seatbelts on. Yes, we're, we're absolutely we're driving the thing. all traffic laws. Um, so my parents weren't really down with the whole YouTube thing. They didn't get it. And so I convinced them that there was a channel on TV dedicated to dachshunds uh -huh. since they have a dachshund. And so when I came over, I was just like, oh, put the dachshund channel on. Well, all I was doing was going on YouTube and searching dachshunds. Yeah. And they were fascinated that there was a dachshund channel on the television. <laughs> and then she was all mad when she couldn't find it one day. So this road here, we just, it's one of the roads off to the, as you come in Del Webb Drive, there's uh, homes that go off to the right and left. That was one of the roads that went off to the right. And now it circles back and we're at Del Webb Boulevard right now. Nice. So um, actually we'll remember when we go to the amenity center, we'll want to show the cottages that you can rent in here. Okay. So here's the big amenity center. Yeah, so it's on Del Webb Drive. Um, this is a 24, 25,000 square foot, and we've got lots of videos on the channel showing the insides of everything. That's a really big building. It is, it is <laughs> with lots of stuff inside. So community, there's two of these in the neighborhood where you go to get your mail. One on each side. This ends up being like a uh, kind of a Area that people congregate spot. sometimes. Yeah. Yes, and then dumpsters over here. This is this is the fifty-five plus water cool. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, the mail the mail center. <laughs> yeah. um, so oh. this is the bocce courts right here, and you look, they've got golf cart parking right here, Mark. Oh, see the little tiny spots. I like that. See water cooler right yep, there. Yep. Came to get the mail and stopping to hang out with people. So in the amenity center, there is inside. There's multiple rooms for different clubs and congregating and so on. There's a very we nice- We actually had your birthday party though. We did have my birthday. And we had um, Natalie's, Natalie's uh, engagement, engagement party, party or pre-dinner no, before the rehearsal wedding. Dinner. Rehearsal dinner, yeah. That's what they call it. I thought there was a special You think I would know that? Like yeah, in you're, the planning you're getting ready the to do the same thing here. Yeah. And so there's a beautiful gym in there. There's an uh, indoor pool. Indoor pool, outdoor pool. Outdoor and amazing resort pool. Kitchen, yeah. That, it, Probably the nicest one in Somerville, yeah. actually. And so over here on this side of the building, oh, there's the pool. Uh, you can kind of oh, see yeah. through the windows a little bit. Let me see if I'm zooming. Nope, it's all no, black. Too dark. So pickleball and tennis here. And then on the other side for the other half of the neighborhood, because this is kind of centrally located in the neighborhood, mm -hmm. is this mail center. And you'll see they've, they've still have more room to go here where they're adding more uh, mailboxes boxes. right there yeah there's gonna be 1400 homes in there and they when just added they, four more hundred and, and and so they planned on an amenity center a certain size mm -hmm. based on that many homes and so they're adding a new amenity uh not, not a whole center like this but it's got like an indoor gym it's gonna have indoor pickleball which is really cool 
and then also we're really excited about a um, the restaurant bar. Thing, yeah, right? yeah, restaurant bar deal. So I'm gonna cross over here and show you the sales center. Now remember, if you ever come here, do not go to the sales center on your own. You and these are all the old models, by the way. Yeah. Because they've already sold these off because they made fancy new models, which of course, we have a video that walks through all of the models. Yep. And I'm gonna show you, and I'm actually gonna drive over there if I can. Is that, is that I think you can go open? that way. Yeah. This is the sales center I'm gonna do a U-turn at here. All right, whenever I back up, you beat. Okay, that's the sales center right there. So that's kind of the starting point for when you come in with us. We'll go in there, uh, meet with one of their people that work for Pulte, and we can kind of show you the maps of the neighborhoods and those kind of things. This um, this, this is the big old model right This there. is the one my parents, yeah. So this is the building, the, the model that we were in back when we were shopping okay. uh, for my parents, and so they're in that model. So now these start from biggest to smallest, and we've got lots of videos on these. Yep. So this is the Renown. This one starts at uh, 2,700 square feet, and then yep. we're gonna work our way down. We'll start them as next. And down to about 1,200-ish square right. feet, right? Yep. Yeah, so really everything, and, and even the Renown, if you put a second story on it, it's almost 3,500 mm -hmm. square feet. These are all the models, all and the new models. we recently just had a client that chose one of these smaller ones because mm -hmm. they're not going to be living in it for a couple more years. Yeah. So they bought one of the smaller ones now for a kind of lock it and leave it type of yeah. home um, so that they can come down and visit whenever they want. Yep. And then in you know four or five years, they're gonna upgrade and, and go to a bigger one probably in the same neighborhood. And, and actually they'll, with the, the way the prices go, you know, everything continues to rise, of course. Uh, I bet you they do really well when they go to sell. Yeah, yeah, I agree. So we're getting into, like on the right hand side up here is um, almost all done. Yeah, I'll yeah. go show the back gate and then I'll okay. pull down one of these roads on the right hand Perfect. side. And then on the left hand side is where they're continuing out that way to develop the remaining what 600 homes I think yeah, that's that probably about right uh, so they're a little over halfway done i feel like yep that's, that's probably, probably right about correct four or five more years of building i would say mm -hmm. uh, before they're completely done and then they'll be ramping up the uh the other new del web that they're doing that's right down in uh closer to charleston uh, was that point hope point hope that's it yeah which is in between around the Daniel Island area and Wando area, um, all over there. Ooh, that's a, that's a uh, classic. Right? Yeah, it is. is that what they call it? A classic. I had a, uh, you, you know, I think the, the antique license plates only have to be 30 years or older. Oh, really? And so at one point I had that geo tracker that was over 30 years old. Okay. And, and I could have got an antique plate for it if I wanted to. How funny would that be? A nasty old $2,000 geo tracker with like an antique yeah, plate on it. Yeah, if you tried to bring that to like a classic flower <laughs> show or something. You would get laughed you off. You would get property. laughed off. And, and they would probably get angry about it. <laughs> they might. Yeah. Look at this berm directly in front of us here. Between these oh, two yeah, properties. Oh, yeah, between the two properties. Let's see if I can zoom in on it. Yep. Actually, I'm going to... I'm gonna back up so you can you can do your beep 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 if you want. Beep, 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 beep. All right, look straight beep, out the right beep. here, Mark. All right, at this berm here. So this gives you a good idea of what they do behind a lot of these properties. So yeah, you can definitely almost not see that house except for the roof. Yeah, like you were saying. Yep, and that's the goal. Yep, is they want to have the berms between the, the streets when everything is all grown up all you could see is the roof line and above mm -hmm. you don't see uh up here on the right here is an all brick front you don't see too oh yeah that in this neighborhood yeah that is surprising and that uh, there are typically what would you say six different what is elevations for each model yeah. here's a good example of a golf cart um oh yeah right so, so a, a two-car garage and then a golf cart hello sir now, when you're watching the YouTube channel someday, you realize you're on it. We're doing a video right now. <laughs> We're looking for the best looking residents of Del Webb and Nexton, and we've clearly there it is, just right found there. it. <laughs> <laughs> I'll make you a deal. I like her. One of our clients, obviously. Clearly, yeah. We, we definitely know them. 
I would have felt real bad to drive by if I hadn't seen him and they're waving at him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Clearly, my car is kind of easy to see. And we've there's a bunch of elevations that have some brick, mm -hmm. um, but I I don't know that I paid attention to. So there's the back. Gate. Oh yeah, yeah. And that gets you down next in Parkway a little bit further, mm -hmm. heading towards oh for uh, towards Cane Cane Bay. Bay Plantation. Hey, look behind this house to the left. Look at this. What was it? Do you think it's a pergola. Pergola. That's what. It's I called. think it's some pergola. A nice, uh, big rolling berm between these on the left. Yep. So this is the construction entrance only here to the right. But we'll pretend we're a construction vehicle for a second because I want to show you. Ooh, yeah. you're breaking the rules. Oh wait, no, it's paid now. I'm not officially breaking rules. And we have people like this guy right here. He's biking. There's walkers, there's dog walkers, there's all kinds of uh, different activities yeah. that you can do. Even if you don't want to be in the, the big classes and all of that. Right, right. Obviously this neighborhood is super good for all that. And, and look at all these lots down here to the right. So these are all gonna be wooded lots on this left side. It, well, actually in the and right. the right, yeah. And this is something cool that I've seen them do. So if you look to the right, right where Mark's pointing now, there'll be a house, but then there's a berm because you've got the back of the house on the right there facing the side of the house oh, that'll be on this, this lot, lot right here. Okay. So there's a berm in between those two, so it doesn't feel like you're looking directly at your neighbor's house. And that one that we just recently sold for the Hymans, they're just starting to build it. Actually, we got a meeting with them today. Yeah. They have a, a berm on the back and the side. And the side, yeah. So you on could two get sides. lucky yeah. and get both. Boy, how times have changed. Getting lucky used to mean something completely different. <laughs> <laughs> now it's finding a lot with berms and woods on each side. I get excited about it. <laughs> yeah. Look, there's one right there. Yep. So they'll have that's one. Now that's actually a different neighborhood over there. Yep. Um, so those, but they will be building a nice berm in between this neighborhood and that neighborhood. Yeah, it'll all be built up nice. These are some nice lots over here. I think these are the ones that Kathy was talking about where um, they're going to start to open some of these lots coming up soon. Okay. Yeah, a lot of, a lot of woods uh, on the backs of these properties. Yep. So there is another, so the, we're the, the meeting that we have today with the clients, theirs is not wooded but it's got a long berm behind all of those ones I'll, yep. I'll head over that direction all right sounds good i think yeah i think you can go i think this i way. can get through this road just recently opened up yep actually can you zoom in on those well maybe we can catch it from between one of these houses i want to show these fountains that are back here because they do a really nice job in these uh, neighborhoods yep in this neighborhood of putting a lot of fountains on the water which is great for not only you know, keeping the water moving and the bugs out of it, but the sound. I love it. Is amazing. So I think that new area is to the right and then left. Yeah, I that. think that's right. And you'll see how when they build off these areas, they they do sections, so you're not living beside construction for forever. The rest of the life. Yeah. <laughs> oh, here's look, look left. Oh, there you go. Beautiful. So my parents are on a lot like that with the pond. Okay. So when the girls were little and they would need to burn off a little energy. I would pretend um, to time them, and I would make them go run around the uh, the whole pond, mm. and then they would race. And then by the time they did that a couple of times, they were exhausted, so they'd calm down a little bit. All right, so you'll see on the right and the left here now, we've got homes that are complete, and then all these yellow ones down here. This is how the hardy board is treated. Oh, that's not the color. Before, of the yes, board. we don't have like nine yellow houses <laughs> in a row coming. So this neighborhood is all hardy board. It by is. The way. Yep. Some of the other neighborhoods are a combination. Yep. Or it can be all, or it can be all vinyl. Too. Right. So I think we have two houses on this street that we're helping people build. And uh, we come out here and do, you know, every 10 to 15 days, we come out here and do a video update because they're not in state. Yep. And let them know kind of how their home is progressing. Of course, the builder sends a weekly update once it starts framing. They do, so that, that weekly update also typically includes some photos, yep. and then also just a description of what was done. But all of these homes where Mark is pointing now, there's gonna be a ton of homes coming here that are all backed up to a berm, and then with woods, woods behind the berm. Yep. And there's a neighborhood over there, so right now through the probably next two months, 
you might be able to see a house here. Or there. Yeah, once the leaves come. But once back, the it's... leaves come back, it's it's a done deal. So is this the property we're under contract on, on the right here? On the right. Yep. Yeah. Oh, so you see this firm over. is going to be on the back and the right side and of the, the house. Side, yeah. And then the so the big big tall berm on the right side of the street, and then the left is a pond. Right? Yep. So then we can see the fountain. So we'll circle back now to the main boulevard. But one one thing I do like about this neighborhood is that kind of central location of the amenity center. Mm -hmm. In this neighborhood specifically, it's no more than a 10 minute walk from kind of the farthest point right. to the amenity center. Well, the house is going up, looking good. So what, what, what is your parents' favorite thing about this neighborhood? Because they live here. I, I think they like the uh, the layout of, of the house. They the house really the did best. a good job um, with big open spaces. Okay. And guy, I don't know what that, that little, little forklift looking thing. It's a little skid, yeah. skid runner or something like that. I want to drive that. Oh, he's pulling these big sod rolls oh, yeah. off of the back of this flatbed. That makes sense. So this neighborhood, you've got three different options in here. Um, there's obviously the neighborhood is big enough and old enough now, even though the neighborhood is only what five, six years old. Yeah. Um, yeah. Is you can buy resales in here, so a house that has been owned by somebody else. Yep. Or you can build from the ground up, which a bunch of these are, and what a bunch of our clients do, and that process is typically nine to eleven months. And then you can also buy a spec home, which they're doing more of in this neighborhood. I was uh, gonna say we haven't really seen a spec home in this neighborhood though, because they go for so years. Because they go so yeah, fast. as soon as they hit the market, they're pretty much gone. But that allows people to buy a house and be in within just a couple or three months. Yep. All right, I feel like I should go left. Should I go left? No, that's right. See, I knew we came from the left. Whatever I thought I should do is the exact opposite of what I should do. <laughs> Want to race this kind of bike? He's Let's moving pretty good. I, I think he might take us. He might. Everything is always looking so clean in this neighborhood, except in the construction. Yeah, the they do a really nice job. Mm -hmm. the, the landscaping in here is beautiful. And what I really like about this location is we are right in the middle of Nexton. So we are five minutes into uh, Nexton where all the restaurants are, the pickle bar where I may or may not have recently beat Mark at playing pickleball. <laughs> If you want to know the true story, you can go back to the video. You don't need that to watch that video. That was posted on no. January 2nd, I think don't, it was. You don't need to watch that video. It's and, okay. And it even admits defeat from <laughs> Mr. Jeff. <laughs> I will. Now, I will admit defeat that I'll you beat me it. in the putt-putt yeah. at Horizons. Yes. I will admit that defeat. So I think you should own up to your I, shortcomings as well. I, I, I will not. <laughs> <laughs> no, I don't want to talk about it. And I'd appreciate it if everybody would not go watch that video. <laughs> well, well, I'll make sure I link it. Great, so thank you, that, you for that. You can have easy access. I appreciate that. that. <laughs> One of the good things though about this, back to my point, is the location. Uh, yeah. You are really, you could actually golf cart from here to uh, next where to all where our office is, come yeah. visit us. You can always bring us oatmeal raisin cookies if you like. Oh, that would be great. That would be nice if we start we getting people. four people a day bring us <laughs> oatmeal raisin cookies. Yeah. Our wives would love that. Yeah. That would be amazing. Yeah, yeah. Uh, but all the restaurants right there next and you can uh, you could it's a walk it's too far of a walk really but you could bike or golf cart to everything that next has to offer yep. and then also right outside this neighborhood is some more retail coming and there's gonna be two so much coming. new grocery stores there is right, a gonna be Publix to to and there is also a uh, Paris Teeter Paris Teeter yep. and obviously the, those are kind of anchor stores so they're going to bring all kinds of additional restaurants yep. and retail and all kinds of things like that we got us a construction traffic jam it, it's the what do you what did you call it on the last video Leap frogger off. frogger frogger yeah like isn't frogger the game where you had to like I think so. go like this to, to, to get through traffic yeah we got some frogger going on but this this will be done here in you know on this street in probably six months at i was the gonna most. say four probably yeah so um in addition to Nexton being, so if you leave the neighborhood and you turn right, you go to Nexton. If you leave the neighborhood and go left, you go out towards Cane Bay and the rest of Nexton mm -hmm. and even more restaurants. But if you are a biker, Mark, there's probably going to be. So from my house in Cane Bay to our office is nine miles. 
and it's probably two miles to the front of Cane Bay from my house. Yeah. So there's at least seven to eight miles of trail all along Nexton Parkway mm -hmm. that um, you can bike on, you can golf cart on, you can run, you can walk, all of that stuff. Um, the only time I wouldn't use that is probably mid-August because there's <laughs> no protection. Yeah, you're out in the sun. You're, yeah, unless you're going at you know seven in the morning when you know the sun is low. Yeah, you 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 should not use that. <laughs> so the point is, though, you could ride your bike or golf cart all the way into Cane Bay, all the way into Nexton. You could run oh, yeah. through your batteries in your golf cart. Absolutely, um, and or through your legs if you're pedaling. <laughs> Yes, I'll be in the golf cart. I'm not. <laughs> have you seen those e-bikes now? Yeah. A lot of people use those e-bikes now. Did you see how fast some of those are? They're really fast. All right, so this is the, is this the road? Is this it? Uh, they, I think they're gone now. They're sold though. Are you talking about the? Oh yeah, they're not doing it anymore? I think they have one somewhere else. They, oh, it's somewhere else. Anywhere. Okay, so they do. They may still have a stay and play three or four day thing where you could stay in the house, stay in the neighborhood, they give you a golf cart. Yes, yeah, three nights, that's for $399. 400 bucks, okay. Yeah. And you know, that's obviously for the cleaning and stuff like that. So yeah. It's cheaper than a hotel. Yeah. Um, so, but if you're serious about this neighborhood, you can come do that. They do ask you questions like, hey, are you thinking about buying in the next year? Yeah. They would, if you're looking like four years down the road, they're, they're probably not. Yeah, you don't use it just as a vacation. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But, all right, so I think this gets you a pretty good feel for the way the neighborhood, the look and the feel of it. Um, if you want to talk more about this neighborhood, any other neighborhood, the best way is down in the description. See, did I say it right this you time? You did say it right. Yeah, good I, job. I always say in the comments or something, but down in the description, uh, there's a link that they can click and it'll drop right into our calendars. Yes. So you could book a Zoom call, an in-person meeting, or uh, just a phone call, whatever you wanna do. And we can talk about which of these 55 neighborhoods make sense for you, the, which of the non-55 neighborhoods may make sense for you. Um, but this is one of like seven 55 pluses now in the area. And uh, I, I think it's, it's just absolutely beautiful. I, th this is one of the contenders for me, by the way of one that I will be living in. You're just saying that because you'll take over your mom's house. Hey, listen, I might, I might boot them out. Kick out mom and dad and just Put them go. in the garage Yeah, <laughs> That would be awful. But I like my parents. I don't want to have to do that. <laughs> All right, guys, any questions? Oh, and don't come in here unrepresented. You don't want to roll through the door without a realtor. There's no downside to... Uh, if, to if you, doing it. If they can do us a favor, too. It's all upside. If you found value from this video at all, you can go ahead and subscribe to our channel. That way you get to know first about all things Somerville and Charleston. And then uh, click that little bell. That way you'll get notified whenever we do a video. We do videos yeah. three times a week. Now. That does really help us out. Yeah. If you if you ever want our kids to be able to go to college, subscribe. I don't we think appreciate they care it. about that. No? No. No, but I'm... Uh, we have nice kids. They might want to help the kids out and go, go to college. They or might. just send us money. Here's either subscribe or send us money for the kids' college I'll fund. I'll put our Venmo link in It's, the, it's up to you. <laughs> you. You have to do one, but you get to pick. All right, everybody. See Until you next time. One.